Yahuchanan, John 13. Now, before the feast of the Pekach, when Yahusha knew that his hour was come, that he should depart out of this world unto the Father, as having loved his own which were in the world, he loved them unto the end. And supper being ended, the devil having now put into the heart of Yahuda Ish Kiriat, Shimon's son, to betray him. Yahusha, knowing that the father had given all things into his hands, and that he was come from Yahweh, and went to Yahweh. He rose from supper and laid aside his garments, and took a towel and girded himself. After that he poured water into a basin, and began to wash the Talmudim's feet, and to wipe them with the towel wherewith he was girded. Then came he to Shimon Kepha, and Kepha said unto him, Adonai, do you wash my feet? Yahusha answered and said unto him, At what I do you know not how, rather, I do you know not now, but you shall know hereafter. Kepha said unto him, You shall never wash my feet. Yahusha answered him, If I wash you not, you have no part with me. Shimon Kepha said unto him, Adonai, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Yahusha said to him, He that is washed needs not save to wash his feet, but is clean every whit. And ye are clean, but not all. For he knew who should betray him, therefore said he, Ye are not all clean. So after he had washed death their feet, and had taken his garments, and was set down again, he said unto them, Know ye what I have done to you? Ye call me Rabbi and Adonai, and ye say, Well, for so I am. If I then, your Adonai and Rabbi, have washed your feet, ye also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example, that ye should do as I have done to you. Amen, amen, I say unto you, the servant is not greater than his master, neither he that is sent greater than he that sent him. If ye know these things, happy are ye if ye do them. I speak not of you all. I know whom I have chosen. But that the scripture may be fulfilled, he that eats bread with me has lifted up his heel against me. Now I tell you before it come that when it is come to pass, ye may believe that I am he. Amen, amen, I say unto you. He that receives whomsoever I send receives me. And he that receives me hath receives him that sent me. When Yahusha had said thus, rather had thus said, he was troubled in his ruach, and testified, and said, Amen, Amen, I say unto you, that one of you shall betray me. Then the Talmudim looked one on another, doubting of whom he spoke. Now there was leaning on Yahusha's bosom one of his Talmudim, whom Yahusha loved. Simon Kepha therefore beckoned to him that he should ask who it should be of whom he spoke. He then lying on Yahusha's breast said unto him, Adonai, who is it? Yahusha answered, He it is to whom I shall give a morsel when I have dipped it. And when he had dipped the morsel, he gave it to Yahuda Ishki Riot, rather, Ish Kir Yot, the son of Shimon. And after the morsel, Satan entered into him. Then said Yahusha eth unto him, That you do, do quickly. Now no man at the table knew for what intent he spoke this unto him. For some of them thought, Because Yahuda had the bag that Yahusha had said unto him, Buy those things that we have need of against the feast, or that he should give something to the poor. He then, having received the morsel, went immediately out, and it was night. Therefore, when he was gone out, Yahusha said, Now is the son of Adam glorified, and Yahuwah is glorified in him. If Yah be glorified in him, Yahuwah shall also glorify him in himself, and shall straightway glorify him. Little children, Yet a little while I am with you. 
ye shall seek me. And as I said unto the Udim, whither I go, ye cannot come. So now I say to you, a new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. By this shall all men know that ye are my Talmudim, if ye have love one to another. Shimon Kepha said unto him, Adonai, whither do you go? Yahusha answered him, Whither I go, you cannot follow me now, but you shall follow me afterwards. Kepha said unto him, Adonai, why cannot I follow you now? I will lay down my life for your sake. Yahusha answered him, Will you lay down your life for my sake? Amen, amen, I say unto you, the cock shall not crow till you have denied me thrice.